and I'm going to connect that now go live over there okay this is great and so if if members on uh, on zoom want to following me at the beginning I'm gonna wait for you so step by step going through the beginning few steps and the later part it will be very easy to follow with the video okay if you have any questions please speak uh, as a member you can actually we can interact over the zoom meetings so uh, I'm using the Arches watercolor paper it's only 10 inches by the seven and a quarter inch. Um, so let's th first talk about the uh, the idea, the reference coming from a member on our Discord space, and that was only the forest and the row inside in the middle of the forest, and I really liked the color. I really liked, especially the value. It looks really, really, really interesting. So I thought about they use it, but you cannot just use it as it's just only the, the trees and the row. So what I, what I did, uh, I add a man and a dog as the focal point. Put it right in where the light is, right? In, right in front of the light. So, so let's talk about um, their compositions. So the main figure, I'm going to put it right in the middle, right here. And right in the middle lower part, not in the middle of the page, but right here. So I'm going to do a little bit indication as a reminder. And uh, take a look at how low that would be. I want you to think about how low. And very low. Actually, also the tree. I'm going to put that, that's a tree right over here. So I'm going to put it a little bit off to the right side. Okay, so maybe leave that, leave that a little bit more space between the man and the tree. And also see this is the dark space. Uh, to In order to make this painting works, the different value range in the different part of the painting is very important. So the, the tree on this side, we're going to do it the last, okay? We're going to work out this all the background over here first. And for this painting, I'm not going to use masking fluid. So I'm going to just focusing on how to create a feeling of a very soft, it's not really that far away, but because of the light, the light, the sun rays going through over here and uh, taking care of this and before taking care of the closer space right over here. You have any questions? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start, get a little bit color to indicate that. Okay. Just take a look at how we are going to use this space. Let's take a look. Now I'm just going to use a little bit red, okay, a little bit red with a little blue color and just a little bit color, okay. So you can change it if you want, right. And where is that is the bottom of the man's uh, foot and right in the middle over here. Here you go, right here. Let's take a look at, and this foot right over here, okay? Now take a look at how big that person will be. I'm gonna put that, the shoulder would be up here, okay? Make your decision. Then I can add the head a little bit later, right? So, when, it, when the shoulder up over there, and the, and the bottom of the feet right here, and that would be half it belong to uh, the coat. So I can actually add the, just the light color, okay? Just a little light color. And we can uh, add more and more contrast a little bit later. Okay, here you go. Look at the big shape. Don't be afraid of it. Okay, 
right here. Look before you ping. And above, that would be has uh, the head. Okay, here you go. It's just to reserve the space. And I'm going to have the blue color. Okay, here you go. Get the blue color. It will be softly merged together. That will be fine. So like right here and right here, right there. Okay, that's good. So that's a little bit lighter over here. So I don't have to paint it in yet. And here you go, like that. And coming down. Okay, if you have a look at our Gumroad space, please go to take a look. This is how we're going to offer our extra classes over there. And and there, there is a one class coming up, which is in, it's going to happen in a couple weeks. So hopefully you take a look at it, if that's something good for you. I hope that you also reserve the space. Okay, here you go. That's the head over here. I'm going to leave the top to be a little bit light. So here you go, the, the man over here. I'm going to do the details a little bit later, the stick and other things. I'm also going to reserve this space for the dog. So because I make sure that I'm going to ping around the dog. Okay. Now I'm going to just get a little bit yellow and mix a little red, a little bit orange. And what there would be right over here. Okay, here you go. Right there. And just the leg coming down over here like that. And this is good. Right here. And the tail. You can change the shape if you want. You can make the tail come up a little bit if you want to. Okay, here you go. Right there. And like that. So we're going to ping around this. There's two shapes. And also leave the the highlight outside of the man. Okay, this is good. Now let's do a little indications of the tree. That's the one tree right in the middle. So I'm going to have this tree a little bit off to the right hand side, right over here like this. Okay, so I'm going to have it coming down from here, right from here, straight down like that. All right. It's very interesting coming all the way here. Here you go, can be a little bit thicker. That's good. And when it's at the bottom, it's gonna get really light and really soft. Okay, you can consider this only the composition uh, idea. Okay, and also I'm gonna uh, painting the left side to give a little bit light shape, but no worry. If we miss the light shape, if the color coming in over here touching the tree, that will be okay. We can either can use the scratching or we can use the gouache white to create that details. Okay. This is great. Now, that one tree over there. And also I can maybe just add a little bit yellow color over here just to uh, suggesting right here. Like that. A little tree over here. Uh, like that for now. Okay, and it's very light, you won't see much. Now let's think about, there's another key tree right here, uh, the bottom over here, we can soften there a little bit more because that is too dark, maybe lighter. Okay, that's good, like that. Very soft, I actually enhance this, make this a very light area. So I'm also going to indicate that. So I see that uh, Mary has been Painting on it, Carolyn. This is a painting. This is great. And and at the end of uh, this section, I'm going to um, spend some time with our members and uh, take a look at how you're doing and maybe offer some suggestions at the end. So let's take a look at half the yellow, half a little bit red. You see, yellow and red together. That's almost like a blue, co almost like a brown color. And if it's pure yellow and red, you would need um, a little bit more blue color. So it will become the brown color, okay? We don't have to do the darkest. We can add more water, 
Yeah. Now let's think a little bit more. Like okay, what is this, the other tree? Uh, this this tree right here has the two of them. And I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, that's good. And the bottom, the footer right over here. That's good, like that. So now I'm gonna do one. Yeah, this is very straight and coming from here vertical and here you go and push it down perfect right this is one tree and next to it there is another one i'm gonna have a little bit darker right next to it so leave the light shade next to it Okay, here we go. That's good. Looking for the space in between that. And here you go. Keep them coming down. And that's another tree. Okay, here you go. Right next to. Okay. You don't need to worry about, you can actually add, make it a little bit darker. But you don't know how dark it's supposed to be right now. Because when we have all the colors, you can see a a little bit better, a little bit more easier to modify, right? So I'm gonna add the other tree which is I'm gonna have a little bit more blue color, like that. This is good. We have some um hi, how are you Lee? And we have some uh, friends on the YouTube live and I know some of you are already following me uh, on YouTube for, could be for years, and uh, please, if you want to treat yourself, just come to join us, okay, before the holiday. And then we have lots of learning program in over here, which is not uh, accessed, not accessible by uh, the public. And all the club activities, all the monthly learning, and coming in, those are all free for our members. Now I'm gonna look at this tree trunk, okay, right here. And coming down. Good, I'm gonna move it coming in a little bit slanted, a little bit more to the right side. This tree a little bit closer, uh, a little bit closer. So I'm gonna actually make this tree even a little bit Bigger. Okay, here you go. That's good, like that. Very good. At the bottom, always a little bit bigger. Okay. This is good. All right. Now, we're going to see that there's a one big space right over here. And we're going to work on it. We're going to work on those a little bit later, okay? Uh, maybe at this time, just add a little bit light yellow green color. So scatter the yellow and a little blue. That's the pleasant blue. So this is very, very light color. Okay, this color, this is good. Now I'm gonna just use this, tap on it. See that? Yes. Keep it painterly, okay? You don't, we don't have to make it look like, oh yeah, it has to be, um, uh, look like photo realistic. Um, our painting is going to be better than photograph, right? Yes, at least we believe that would be the case. And that it would be for the green tree. So I'm going to have a mix a little bit more. Get the yellow, right? And you're following me. And get a little bit blue color. Get a little bit more yellow. Okay, here you go. Now I'm going to do a little bit more over here like that. Just use the side way, the brush, okay? and different techniques. We have a Chinese brush art club. It would be very good. We know that our Catherine and other member organized that you guys meeting every uh, week and talk about how to use the brush, how to use the brush to making some unique uh, art form. This is very good and hopefully Remember hearing that, and if you're never checking into our um, member, our enjoying uh, um, Discord, is please come in 
to check into the collapse area. Okay, this is good. Like that. So we're going to answer the little bit middle tone, a little bit darker, a little bit later. So we're going to keep this a little bit fresh because this is very close to us. Okay, I'm going to eat that, add that even a little bit, uh, a little bit changeable and even a little bit blue color. I'm going to have that a little bit. So keep that a little bit shadow. Here you go, like that. That's good. And so all claps are, is organized by member. So if you have an idea for a new club that you want to be a part of it, or you want to even running it, and let me know, and we can, we will support uh, the all members, the healthy activities in the community. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. That should be good enough. Now I'm also going to add a little yellow color over here. This a little bit more yellow was this. Look at that, the, the light going through the bottom on the ground. Okay, here you go, going through over here. Okay, here you go. And in here, we can actually have even more. Uh, it's very much like white. Okay, so can I have that a little bit over here? We can use the water to wash it. Okay, have a little bit yellow like that, a little bit yellow green color. That is, is great. I'm gonna soften that a little bit, make it look a little bit like a glowing feeling. Okay, okay, a little bit over here. Beautiful, it's going to be. Be confident with what you do. You can do it. Anyone can. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have this, even a little bit intense, have a little bit more yellow. So if you want the color more intense, you got to use only the uh, primary color, only two primary color together between the two, okay? If you add three, it will become uh, neutral. Okay, I'm gonna have this also like that and have some color coming up over here, that's good. A little bit color over here. This is good. Now it's the good time. Now we're gonna walk into this a huge space over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the flat brush. Okay. So if anyone never have this set of enjoying our brush, this one has been with me for a long time. Uh, the longer you use the brush, the brush actually work better for you. Now, let's take a look at the background. Ignore the area on the left hand side, okay? Just, I'm gonna use just the, this gray color, okay? A little bit fresh on the top, okay? A little bit blue. And sometimes you just need to use the little bit corner. But this area is a little bit farther away from here. So that means you don't have to have a really bright color. So in that case, you would need to use uh, all three color involved, okay? Yellow, red, and the blue, okay? All together. So a little bit more blue, appear to be a little bit more gray color, okay? Like that, that's good, right? Now I'm gonna use the corner of this brush, like that. Here you go, some. It's definitely a little bit darker then, okay? Okay, a little bit darker than, than those yellow green color. Okay, here you go. Tap on it like that. And have some color over here. So we can see, still see a little sky over here. Here you go, like that. It's very good, like that. Now coming down. And we're gonna have a little bit, a little bit greenish color over here, like that. That's good, right? Now under here, uh, we're gonna add a little bit more separation. 
but I'm right under here we're gonna have the a little bit more darker color now here we go now we're gonna see this whole area I'm gonna mix the blue right mix the blue color with the red together so get more red okay take a look at that and make sure it's dark enough okay but not too dark this is very important so we can test it the color first now this is pretty great just the red and the blue color together now take a look I'm going to take a look at the middle over here and here right there is good and darker than the color on the top over here I'm going to put that up over here and here we go now where I'm going to coming down I see a little, little white shape on the left hand side and when you're coming a little bit down over here and just use the corner of this brush and leave a little bit light shape like that okay here you go that's good and now continue coming down and leave a little gap on the left hand side okay that's good now coming over here and we're going to do the uh, sun rays effect a little bit later okay not no worry I'm going to put this color all the way on the left hand side okay that's good like that and it's good very well put a little bit soft shape okay now getting there this would be very very nice now at the bottom now I'm gonna softly going through over here and I'm gonna use the calligraphy brush okay use the same color now I'm gonna come a little bit closer to the main figure okay here you go now painting around okay use a little light leave a little light shape okay here you go right there coming in okay that's good yeah look for the shape that's good right there now get a little bit that's good like that and we can have a little bit more gap a little bit more details in here here you go now coming down on the bottom over here we're gonna see a little bit softer this is good very very good very important now I'm gonna have a little bit yellow color with a little bit blue right that's a little bit green do it a little bit faster that's good and I'm gonna put that right at the bottom over here softer merge that in just a little bit lighter that's good right there a little bit soft transition and right here like that that's good and merge that in here have a little big shape push back that will be fine this is good and we can have some of the put a little big shape over here to create some texture it's showing that's the some tree over here this is good and now I'm gonna also use a little bit darker color okay I'm gonna mix the color one more time okay here you go again and I think this can be a little bit darker okay can be just a little bit darker not too dark okay there we go a little bit darker now come in from here there's a little bit shape and a little bit darker right here right that's good now take a look and I'm gonna have those color coming through I get the sun rays all the way here here you go that's good 
Uh, we're going to do a little lifting to create an even more realistic effect. Okay, coming all the way in here. And make the man even stand out more by having a little bit darker. That's good. There you go. And now on this side, keep squinting your eye. You can see things much, much easier. Now I'm going to have this showing the tree over here. Some a little bit thinner. Some a little bit thicker, like that. A little bit thinner. Okay, some a little bit closer. Some a little bit apart. Okay, here you go. Like that. If you feel like, oh, this brush is very easy to control, just come to enjoyart.com slash brushes. And you can see, read about the information. Okay, here you go. And I'm gonna have some some shape showing the the leaf. Just that's good. Like that. Yeah, this is good. Alright. And I'm gonna leave it like that and let it dry a little bit before I come back to change it. Okay, don't change it too early, too soon, too much. Okay. Now at this point over here, I'm going to add some color for showing the very, uh, the different kind of colors of, okay, and have a little bit lighter shape over here too. So this is other, those little bit dried trees over here, the dry, dry part of the tree. Okay, here you go, like that, it's interesting. Coming through this is a little bit over here too. And then we're going to paint the shadow side of that. And the same thing on this side. Are you with me? And until this side. Okay, I'm going to have this a little bit lower like that. And here you go. And I have some shape over here. So I really, really hope that you guys at least take a couple minutes, look at our offer of the coming up fundamental watercolor class. And you're going to learn a lot in that two hours live class. And read about it and make a decision if you want to be part of it. It's very, very inexpensive. Uh, and then coming over here. Okay, that's good. On this side, put a little light shape over here before we, and if you want to use lifting, you can just go ahead to put the dark color and then try to lift them out. That will be another technique, okay, like that. But I want to try to see if I can paint around before I, okay. So I'm going to make sure you paint the dark, the big shape before the small shape. I'm gonna have the red with the blue color, okay? So only this two color. There's plus and blue, that's the Windsor red, okay? It maybe have a little bit yellow because it look a little bit greenish, okay? Have a little bit blue. So it's only between these three colors, okay? It's very simple. Now I'm going to have this color over here. You got this color right over here. Like that, this is good. I'm going to have a little bit shape over here too. Keep looking for shapes, okay? No matter whether we're doing portrait or doing landscape, and shape is all we can do in most cases. Uh, combined with lines because shape is a visual language that painting and drawing can use. Okay, here you go. Like a little bit color over there. And take a look. We have some. Just this whole area. There's some smaller changes in the middle, but 
the looking for the larger area before looking for a smaller area. Here you go, right here, like that. That's connected both sides. Okay, now take a look at coming over here and the color get a little bit uh, warmer getting down over here. And let's keep going. A little bit red maybe. Let's take a look at and coming down here. And then there's some. Okay, when you open your eye, you really see the, all those uh, details. I don't want you to see the details too soon, too early, okay? And I'm gonna have that a little bit lighter color coming over here. Okay, like that. Here you go. You see how this all connected together and how the shapes actually playing the balance create that a dynamic feeling. Okay, here you go. Keep looking. And the tree trunk will be part of it a little bit later. Okay, here you go. Coming down. Looking for larger. Okay. Okay, here you go. Have some tree over here. Some light shape. Here you go. Now this is all connected. Coming closer until closer to have a little bit green color. A green small shape. Here you go. See this. Okay, we're gonna have try to keep enough light shape. So we may come back to add a little bit of brightness. And yeah, but let's connect with all the shapes in place before we're looking at the details. That's good, like that, and have it even darker. Like that, a little bit darker, like that. That's good. And continue coming on to this side. And take a look on this side. And also a little bit blue with the red. Okay, here you go. Get a little bit more blue, so it will be a little bit cooler. I'm gonna take a look. A little bit more red. Okay, that's good. And take a look on this side. And this is all darker color. And yeah, it's interesting over here, you can see a little bit light. I pick up that evidence, a little bit light over here on the tree trunk. And the rest actually a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. And coming down over here too, and have a little bit, a little bit, a little bit light. I can have that a little bit like that. That's good. Okay, give a little bit light gap. Okay, here you go. A little bit light. And coming down over here, a little bit light. Okay, let's see. And down over here, a little bit more brown color. So I'm gonna change that too. But don't forget there's the, on the left side, the right side, have it right here. Give a little bit, leave a little green color over here. Coming down over here, and then coming down here, have a little bit more brownish color. This is his very interesting challenge for everyone. And can you actually focus, not get distracted by the, um, those shapes, okay? Not get distracted by them. Okay, here you go. And coming down over here, sometimes you need to make some, some decision on Okay, there you go. Paint the tree even darker. Okay, here you go. Like that. And leave a little gap for some of those. That's good. Like that. 
also on this side there you go that's good okay our whole tree over here also need to be darker I'm going to put this also dark color right in here I'll come back make it even darker now you can see that right over here you can also have some suggestions I'll leave a little gap make it look like a tree in between over here but you don't have to make it like too clear too clean okay okay here you go that's good like that all right now we have enough things over here this is very interesting now at this point let's also set the colors on the ground okay and squint your eye to see how dark the color would be and finding the value of the colors is not as easy as you think is actually sometimes you think about oh it's too dark in that case you just lift up some color okay now take a look I'm gonna put this color over here is that dark too dark and maybe a little bit dark so now I'm gonna just use a little bit water okay a little bit water take it from here and leave a little white gap okay here you go coming over here and go through this uh, and then the cast shadow and take a look at the bottom of the dock over here leave the little bit light shape on the leg okay that's good and coming onto this side okay patient that's good here we go and coming onto this side take a look at the row and there's the side of the row that's good like that I think this the value is good but I want it to be a little bit blue a little bit darker I'm getting a little red I'm gonna have is the side over here and the, when it's closer to us I can make it a little bit darker okay that's is good now I'm gonna have the darker green color on the right hand side now here we go and get a little bit uh, but this is will be very bright too bright okay now I'm gonna get a little red color you see this if you want the green colors not so bright mix a little red color to it is that interesting right so in the uh, upcoming class uh, watercolor fundamental painting the fruit and the, the still life and it would teach you a lot about the color mixing and the how to mix all colors for any paintings too okay you see that that's in the shadow okay so all color coming from just the three primary colors that's good coming over here how to see the value how to see the intensity okay coming over here now I have to catch the shadow on this side okay a little bit catch the shadow like that it's all about the lighting and make it very interesting okay and on the other side okay like that this is good now also have a little bit a little bit green in the middle over here and when it's just push that in this is good like that and I'm going to have the green color on this side okay here you go and this come up and also on the other the other side okay here we go All right perfect now I have the little green color maybe I have a little bit more blue okay I need to have a little bit more blue okay that's good enough so and we're going to paint the tree on this side a little bit later okay. not try to complicate it okay so this is good I have uh, the, some color over here already this is good now we can see the value much better and the darkest color is not going to be in this area it's going to be our 
the darkest color would be on the left hand side for on those three and also on the main object on the man and the and this and the shadow of the dog but we're not going to paint that until the last step so now i'm going to use the flat brush coming in here to do some adjusting okay okay i'm gonna just use the water take a look over here thank you for your feedback now i'm gonna soften that a little bit over here okay i have a, a exclusive set of technique that i use that again and again in the painting process I have our own system of painting. So I'm gonna soften that a little bit. Okay, that's good. And here you go. Now I'm gonna have also this, uh, soften that. So coming in closer to the man. I don't wanna have too much of texture. Uh, this is good. Now I'm going to do a little lifting. Okay, let's take a look at here. I think this the value is very good. Maybe the some area in the middle over here is gonna make it even a little bit, right? A little bit uh, darker. But we're gonna see. I'm gonna see that. I'm gonna have this lift up, just forty five degree to the paper like that. Soften. Okay, create a feeling of the sun ray. That's good. Now see that. Very easy, isn't it, huh? If the too light, we can glaze over with the same color a little bit later. Okay, here you go. Imagining this is an arches watercolor paper, and is considered a very strong paper, right? And if you use uh, other paper like a Kenson paper, the uh, Stratmore, it will be easier to live. Okay, this is good. Now, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna leave a little bit more over here. And I can even remove. Be persistent. If you don't believe you can do it, you will stop. Okay, that is just the main reason that you cannot do it. So you have to trust yourself. You can do it. Whatever young can do, you can do. Okay. It may be give a little bit more time to practice. And this is good. I have some light coming in. I'm gonna have some light coming in the way here too. And make sure they're in the same direction, guys. Making sure they're in the same direction, light. Uh, my direction is not exactly like what the reference. I tilt a little bit angle, but since I started that way, I'm gonna keep the same angle. Otherwise, it doesn't look like uh, the sun ray. Okay, here you go, coming through, you see that? This is very good, exciting. Now I'm gonna come in over here, also leave a little sun right. Okay, enjoy it. I'm doing very slow. Okay, hopefully you can catch up. Okay, right there. That's good, maybe have a little big softer light. You see that, how easy. Because this brush, like a magic, it has, it has, it's not just the, gold here. It actually mixed with other uh, materials. Now I'm going to do suggestion for the tree. I'm going to have this coming down. You see that? Now put it over here slowly. Don't want to have it too, too big. I don't want it to have it too clear. Okay. Okay, you see that? It almost looked like a tree coming down. I don't want it to be too light. And the one to be, this area belong to the larger shape, the same shape. So I want it to belong to the same shape, uh, color range. Okay, that's good. Like that. This is good. Like one suggestion for a little tree. I'm gonna have a little bit one over here too. Okay, I'm gonna have a little one over here. This is good. We don't want it to be too clear. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna come back at a little bit darker value next to the tree, a little bit later on. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna have just a little bit next to this tree. Okay, 
Okay, that's good. So, and a little bit suggestions. It will give you uh, some expression. Okay, and I'm gonna come in over here. I think those are, uh, looks really good. So I need a little bit softer over here. I'm just gonna just use the corner. Okay. Again, looking at the video descriptions. And you should see the link to the new classes and where you can buy this set of uh, enjoying our brushes and all those informations over there. Take a look at the video description and if they are helpful for you. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit softer, make it feel like a little bit glowing, okay? And the good painting, you need to have the value balance. You need to have feeling of dark and light and how they compose together, okay? That's just good, a little bit lighter, like that. This is good, I like those color. And, and this is maybe a little bit too much texture, so I'm gonna soften that a little bit. So this brush can wash a big area and also can smooth some of the texture. And when we were younger, we always believed that watercolor actually very unforgiving. And it just, you put the color in, you cannot take it out. Who said that? Lots of people say that. Still saying it. But is that true? No. Lots of people saying it doesn't make it true. Okay. And I just proved that to you. You can make lots of changes. And as long as you have something strongly in your mind, the picture that you have in your mind, and you can make it happen. Okay, this is good. And the top over here, I almost don't want to change much over here because I like that softness. Maybe just a little bit over here. Just lift up a little bit over here. Showing that, this is good. Like that, a little bit. The tree is over here, a little bit. Okay, this is good. So this is the most critical. And having those tree over here, it just add the balance to it and nothing critical. And then look at uh, the ground. This is a very good color. Okay, so this is still wet. It's gonna wet for a little while because we just introduced more and more water, lots of water into it. So let's just not uh, work on that yet. But over here, I'm going to continue using this brush. I like to use this brush for focusing on the balance. And I'm gonna take the blue color a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit, a little red, so too much red, okay, too much red. Now I'm gonna get the yellow again, get the little blue, okay, here we go, like that, and maybe a little bit red, this is good. Okay, tap on it to make sure it is blend a little bit smoother, this is good. Now I see that much better already, so I'm gonna come back over here to see. Tap on it, and I'm gonna see a little bit shadow inside the interior shadow. Okay, here we go, like that. And a little bit over here. And a little bit over here. And see, we're gonna keep this whole area here as if it's brighter, lighter area. So I'm also going to add that have a little bit more and shadow connected. That's good. Here we go, like that. Okay, that's good. And coming here. Here you go. Oh, that's good. Now I'll take a look over here. Have a little bit color like that. And also gonna have I like that. I'm going to have, use a smaller brush now, have a little bit orange color. So I always think about orange color or the green color like that. It's a simple thing because you can say brown color, but it, brown color is almost just orange color. It just have a little bit blue in it. So I'm going to just have a little bit orange color right over here. See that? Right here. And the tree over here like that. 
and have a little bit of orange. If you put the orange there, that will be fine. It just look like a light brown color. Okay, have a little bit over here too. Okay, like this. Okay, that's very good. And maybe, maybe lift up a little bit. Maybe we're gonna use just use the white to do that. And this is looks really good already. So, uh, maybe you're gonna lift up a little bit over here too for this tree. Okay, so just a little tree over here. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna come back just a little bit. And now we let's develop a little bit more in here. Okay. And let's just get a red color. Okay, you see, if you have only a small a limit color palette, you won't be confused at all. Now I'm gonna have this a little bit over here. There's this a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. And and I have a little big shape over here. Seeing this is here you go. Like that. And there's another one. There's a little big tree over here, a little big tree over here too. Now this is a little bit darker. I'm gonna have a little bit blue. A little bit blue here. Now developing even smaller shape. Okay. And doing painting is always related to the painting, how it's gonna come out is always about how you think and consider, okay. So it's the thinking process is actually dictating your painting process or your thinking process. Okay, this is good and continue and have a little big suggestions for those three and we're gonna come back to the tree trunk a little bit later okay like that continue suggesting is coming down over here that's good like that i'm gonna have a little big suggestions of some of the tree trunk over here like that there you go just draw uh, the line that's just good Actually, I like that, and may not be exactly what it should be looking like, but this looks really good. And here you go, like that, and make it consistent. Coming down over here a little bit, and keep going with the same color. Now coming down over here. Now the the tree tree. I'm gonna also. Give it enough suggestions. Okay, a little bit, and a little bit over here coming down. So seeing that uh, connected, and I'm gonna have this here, and I have leave a little bit gap like that. Okay, this is good. Now over here on this side, and the same thing, and maybe have a little bit more blue. Okay, let's take a look right here. And this is still very wet. This is good. I keep the wet. And here you go. Suggesting there's some tree over here. And coming down. That would give very good indication. There is the tree in the middle. And also doing that over here too. Okay, here you go. A little bit showing a little bit. But it's not need to be much. Okay, a little bit like that. Okay, now I have a little bit blue color up over here. Like that, just draw some line and leave, give some texture. That's all we need to do, is give some texture. Okay, now on this side, do the same thing. that give some texture a little bit darker away right here and we're gonna put some color on the tree trunk it will be very very easy so now I'm gonna come back here have a little bit orange have a little bit blue and here you go this translucent watercolor so whatever you put it to the painting is gonna look darker okay that's good 
that's very good they're a little bit darker here and there you go like that and I'm gonna have a little big shape over here there you go like that and a little line coming over this is interesting and some line over here like that and some line and some line over here like this and I'm gonna have some line coming out over there too and here you go that's a skit very very good interesting okay and I'm gonna have a little bit a little bit orange color get a little bit yellow with the red over here I'm gonna have a little bit orange color over here too okay like that have some warm color in it that's that's cool that's very good and I think this area looks very nice and I'm gonna have this dry before I come back to uh, you know get the the dark color for the tree trunk but we'll do that a little bit later okay and the top over here I'm gonna remove some of the shape over there I'm gonna show you how uh, easy that we can just remove the color ready I'm just use the 45 degree like that keep doing that you see that only three or four times all the lighter so if you do that like a 10 20 times it would be just gone right so be confident trust the process and this is already better but I also go in the remove a little bit over here so just use the corner of that okay this is good now this may be just too dark and outside over here so I'm gonna just also light up a little bit okay this is good now this is no longer so dominant so what I want to do uh, maybe do that a little bit later but I can put a little bit yellow and have a little bit blue and I can just add some green color some fresh color back over there and then like nothing happened before okay this is good and I'm gonna have a little bit of those line because right now here is a little bit a little bit too solid and now I'm gonna that's just good I'm gonna keep that a little distraction at the corner okay and maybe the top over here we can add a little bit darker color you guys following me do a little bit more darker okay here you go a little bit darker I want a little bit darker right here like that and to make this a little bit pop a little bit more okay here you go a little bit more like that that's good and a little bit more that's good and have a little bit more over here a little bit more clear and also have a little bit in here have some shadow like that no, that's so lovely isn't it but you want to make sure the shape appear nice to you I'm gonna have that coming in a little bit here okay that's good I'm gonna have a little bit darker right there I have a little bit darker over there and take a look over here I'm gonna have a little bit darker over here too like that a little bit over here so keep a little bit nice balance okay here you go and take a look at the bottom over here I'm gonna have this a little bit darker and also a little bit over here also here I have a little bit darker like that maybe a little bit darker like that here you go here you go this is good so don't make everywhere everywhere dark it's just some area dark okay that's good like that maybe I think this is good I have a little bit blue color just get a little bit blue so maybe put a little blue color right in here get the yellow and the blue color so the afterward we're gonna make a, a a video for members put it on the our uh, learning center in the uh, watercolor landscape library 
and the videos, the four videos, the slide videos on we stay only for a couple of days on the uh, YouTube, and then it will be uh, replaced by a very short version, maybe fifteen minutes. Okay, and if you want to, um, if you're not not yet a member, but you want to see the the full version, you can come to Gumroll to purchase that. You can you can stream or or download from your uh, Gumroll purchase. Okay, or even easier, just for a very little fee, you can having access to all our full library on the uh, membership. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I I don't want to overdo too much, but I do want to uh, lift up a little bit color. I'm going to lift up this and make it a little bit lighter. Again, the same thing. Just lift it up a little bit softer. That will be fine. And I'm going to have this also lift up a little bit over here too. Lift up a little bit. So don't want it to be look like fully solid. And I'm going to have this actually going out, going onto this side. Connect that from here. This is why I don't paint the tree trunk yet. Okay. Because I need to have something to do to adjusting this. Okay, so not be afraid of how the things it would. So if you want to be lighter, just lift it up. And over here, this is good. I'm going to have this. So when this all drive on this area, and I'm going to come back to uh, emphasize the, the color of the, the, the tree trunks, that would be very soon, okay? And and the painting would be done. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter as well. Okay, this is very well, this is good. Okay, it looks like this getting dry. I'm gonna come back here to also add a little bit color. Okay. Just use the same color, maybe a little bit blue. Okay, just so a little bit blue. That's good. Watch out, don't want it to be suddenly too dark. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna put it here. Okay, here you go. Like that. Okay, a little bit over here too. Between the two, two soft tree in the here and have a little bit over here too so add a little bit suggestions for the tree over there also important next to the main object okay that's good like that now i'm going to now see that it's immediately is making it so appealing now i'm going to take this color and here you go, coming up over here. Well, we don't want to make it too much, okay. Okay, here you go. That's just good. Okay, here you go. That's just good. Now I'm gonna soften this. And the top over here, soften this. This is good. Now see that? Very, very interesting. Okay, coming in over here. And I have the light coming through over here. This is good. I keep that. Keep that impression. Okay, that's good. And the top over there, I think it's going to keep it like that. And the top over here, we don't have to change much. And this is very good. All right. Now I'm going to hit the time. Coming back over here, I'm gonna mix with some brown color. Okay, take the yellow, take the red. You see, this is the orange color, right? So, yellow, orange, yellow and red become orange. And then have some blue, press some blue, and it will become the brown color. See this? 
so easy. Okay. Now you have to look for like say how how dark is that? I think I have a little bit more blue, a little bit more over here. Now I'm gonna take a look at here. Ready? And coming over there. And I think it's a little bit more blue. So now let's just get a little bit water and have this color coming down over here. Like this. And we're gonna come back to have a little bit more cooler color a little bit later. Okay, here you go. And have a little bit darker. And this a little bit darker. Is it like that? It's great. Okay, I'm glad you're with this. Okay, here you go. Here you go. That's good. And maybe a little bit blue. Add a little bit blue to it. That's good. Coming down over here. Okay, the top have a lot more blue. Okay, here you go. A lot more blue here. And a little bit disconnected. Yes, a little bit shape over here like that too. And now, I'm gonna see that little bit brown color. And see the gap over here. Here you go. And here you go. See a little gap for the tree next to it. Okay, a little bit more. Could be a little bit darker. Look, think about it, and then paint. Okay, that's good. Like that. Very well. And now I'm gonna take a look at this tree. Have a little bit more blue. A little bit more blue. Okay, here you go. A little bit more blue from here. Now take a look at this tree. Okay, that's good. You're gonna have a like little stop, a little broken, okay. Then have to have it all the way. Okay, here you got like a little big line coming here. Okay, a little big line coming to the tree. And let's continue that come coming down now get a little bit more uh, brownish color here you go a little bit more brownish that's good here you go that's good coming down like that and then we're gonna get a little bit lighter okay come a little bit much lighter coming down over here like this and this is good like that now that's just the tree beautiful now I'll take a look at the other tree over here get a little bit gray color first and here you go all right that's good you see there's always step by step okay if you know the step by step that was called the painting process. And you can paint anything you want to paint. There's just no, no problem at all. And if you don't know the process, yeah, and then you're gonna feeling like most of the time you lost it. Okay, I don't know how. I have to follow the instruction. You don't need to. Okay, eventually you're gonna have be able to do it on your own for whatever subject matter that you do okay that's good and I'm also gonna have some and branch like a hip here see that I have a little bit branch coming out over here that make it interesting I can have that little bit coming out over here too I can have a little big line coming here. Okay, that's good. Have some a little bit details. That's good. I can have even a little bit darker, a little bit detail. And here you go. Right, have a little bit detail. Ah, oh, that make the tree looks very interesting because this tree is very close to us so I need to give some enough 
uh, details. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to use this, actually, this one. Have a little bit. Here you go. See this? Have a little bit details on the ground. Here you go. That's good. And a little bit more darker for the cast shadow. That's just great. Like that. We can also have a little bit detail over there. It's almost there. The painting looks good. I'm gonna add this. And here you go. A little bit darker. Like this. Here you go. A little bit. Okay, here you go. A little bit. That's good. Alright. Wonderful. And. I think this is very good. Now let's ping the main object. How about that? Okay, let's ping the full person. It to be darker. Okay, have the blue color. Actually, this is a little bit red shade, the blue color, uh, which is from the Windsor Blue red shade. I'm gonna have that, the red mix into it. We may make it look like a more purple color. All right, that's good. Now I'm gonna. We have been very successfully making the light gap. This is good. Okay, here you go. And that's good on this side. Here you go. That here. That's good. And the bottom have a little shadow. Okay, here you go. Like this. Yeah, that's the coat. That's good. Now, this looks maybe too dark, so I'm gonna have a little bit red. Have a little bit lighter. Okay, not too dark. Okay. Not too much water either. Okay, that's good. There's a little color. Now, here you go. You have to think about how dark is the value. Here you go, that's good. And the top over here. And the shoulder. Okay, I think we have interesting. This side maybe a little bit lighter. Like that. We're gonna add the hand. Okay, that's good. And we're going to also make this a little bit lighter as well. Okay, we're going to add the suggestions of the hands. Now add the little bit suggestions, the little blue color on the head. Okay, that's good. Have a little bit, a little bit blue color right on here. You may not really see it from that far away. And in the video editing, I would have this a little bit closer. And now I'm gonna take a look. Have a little bit lighter blue right in the top over here. And leave the gap, leave the, the left side to be a little bit lighter. Now this is good. Now I'm gonna have this, have the blue color coming up a little bit like that. That's good. Now I come down to have a little blue color in here. Okay, and I'm gonna wait until it dry before we come back to add some even darker details. Okay, here you go. That's good. A little shape over here. Here you go. That's just the pan. Okay, that's good. Look again, you see, that's good. And up over here, also, a little bit darker. So showing that is just the, the legs, actually. Now at the bottom, I'm gonna have that make the 
red with the plus and blue make it very dark these two colors make the darkest color you can get okay that's good now I'm gonna have that suggestions that this shoe is in the bottom of the shoe so make it feel like his is lifting up this leg and this one is a little bit is is right on the ground okay like that and it's good and the bottom over here a little bit more clear and then this is a part of the there's a little line coming over here and also there's the arm I'm gonna make it a little bit darker All right this is good and this is the hand over here give a little suggestions of that the hand a little, little bit longer like that and this is good I'm gonna have a little bit stick that he's holding and right here not straight a little curve like that that's good right who very nice and have a little bit darker on the gap over here and that's a skirt. I think that looks very nice. I'm gonna have a little bit blue, probably a little bit blue back to over here. Okay, make it feel like he is actually in the shadow. Okay, that's good. That's good. I like that. That color very well. Maybe too much. Just a little bit up. You see how easy. You can change it now to the dark. Now I'm gonna have just get a little yellow color. Mix in here. This is that's just the orange color almost. And take a look at over here a little bit more clear. And look again. And the head at the front is you won't even see it. Just the leg, the front over here. And there's another leg coming down over here. You see. That's good. The tail. And now I'm going to use a little bit dark color for just the shadow side underneath. Okay, right here. There's a little bit shadow. And there's another leg over here. And on the other side. That's good. That's good. Like that. All right, and here a little bit darker too, and we can have a little bit feeling of catch the shadow, okay? Because even though it's in the shadow already, but it's in the shadow, it still have some light coming from everywhere, so you still have a little bit catch shadow, okay? A little bit catch shadow, okay? Right here, like that. And catch the shadow of dark, catch the shadow of this man. Okay, pretty good. Now, the last thing we're going to do, we're going to create a final balance. Okay, actually, before we go to do that, I still want to leave a little bit softer over here. I'm going to have that a little bit lighter. So, you can see how easy. We can modify the light and dark. Okay, that's good. Now, what I'm gonna do this on the all the left side over here is consider it as very dark color. Okay, very dark. So I'm gonna just get the blue and the red color first before we add the uh, the green color a little bit later. Now let's take a look and take a look from here. Okay, I'm gonna coming up. Okay. Get a little bit water, mix into this color. Here we go, and there you go coming up like that. Okay, a little bit forward, like that. That's good, All right? That's gonna be have three on here. This is side two. Okay, like that coming up. Okay, we're gonna come back to in reinforce those. So no worry about that. And 
softer a little bit over here and I have a little bit yellow green color at the bottom okay here you go I have a little bit more a little bit texture like that this is good I'm gonna have that soften that a little bit that's good all right now the top we're gonna have a lot more a little bit dark green color so I have to have this like that and this too bright get a little bit red okay here you go this is good and I'm gonna have a little bit blue now watch how we paint the dark silhouette tree now here you go now over here coming in and like this and this I think coming up over here like that okay have some over here blocking the sky okay have like that and here you go that's good and have some there's have some over here and have some a little bit more lower like that right here okay we're gonna paint this really really quickly now what I want to show you and open up the brush like this open up the brush push it down it won't hurt the brush no worry okay okay here we go now watch okay just use the corner of this the brush okay here you go like that and screen your eye and over here we're gonna still keep some gap to see to the sky so it's very make it very spontaneous okay still leave a little gap okay here you go like that okay a little bit coming a little bit longer that's good like this now now I'm gonna come a little bit darker color it have to be darker mix it with this red and the blue color here you go like that here you go right on this side if you want you can still leave a little gap in between okay here you go like that and see That's good. Like that. Make it spontaneous. Alright, this is good. Now on this side, this is good silhouette. But I want it is maybe a little bit forward, okay? Maybe a little bit forward. Okay, here you go, like that. I don't want to have the feeling like a too much uh everywhere. So this is good. A little bit. Now I'm gonna have so it's a little bit red now I'm going to change a little color right in the middle over here there you go can you see that that's good okay some trees this is good we can see lots of tree over here I'm going to get a little bit yellow so make it feel like a little bit brown okay like this And I have a little bit, those trees have a little bit uh, texture, like that. This is good. I can have that. A little bit cooler. I think this may be too warm. Okay, here you go. I'm going to even add that a little bit coming out like this. And the bottom over here. That's good. That's good, like that. And take a look at the edge over here. Now you can see a very nice balance on the left side. And so I'm gonna take a look at, I'm gonna make sure they have a little bit more coming out like this. Have this a little bit with them. So they have the boom, 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 a little bit heavier. And then coming here like that, have a little bit broken. So I'm going to have this, also a little bit feeling of some branches coming out over there, a little bit over here too, 
can add the even darker color. Get the red and the blue color. Okay, here you go. A little bit more like this. And also add that a little bit darker, suggesting the tree trunk. Okay, originally what we painted into that is already very good already. So, so now on the bottom over here, I'm going to get the yellow color. I know you're thinking about, oh yeah, it's just good, it's done. Okay, you can continue from here. And while you are trying to reserve the freshness of watercolor painting, okay, and you still can add some other details, like over here, the front over here, like that, have a little bit more green, okay, like this, and I have a little bit over here in the middle of the row, like that, and that's good, get a little bit softer, right down. Make it all soft together. Now I'm gonna use this fry brush. Now do a little lifting. Now lift up a little bit. Okay, it's not gonna be very, very light. So it's a little bit lift. Lift a little bit over here. Now this is good. I'm gonna have lift a little bit. Feeling a little bit line coming out like that, a little bit. This is good. A little bit over here, a little bit. And a little bit over here, like that. All right, let's take a look at. I think that for the final, I am going to make this deep down a little bit. So I'm gonna just take this color. This is a little bit more, a little bit more blue little bit red like that have a little bit red over here this maybe over here can be a little bit a little bit just tone it down a little bit but not killing all the all the shape you just need to put that in here that's good so make that a little bit more softer over here and that make it a nice connection. Okay, the bottom here, I'm gonna lift it a little bit lighter and feeling a little bit glowing. This is good. And I'm gonna lift up a little bit over here That's just good. And and over here I can lift up a little bit more too. Okay. That's just good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit yellow fresh color. Yellow green fresh color. And just make this even a little bit more brighter. Okay, a little bit brighter, like that. There you go, a little bit brighter. But you don't want it to be like too dark, too much contrast. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have that also a little bit on the tree over here. This is called a final touch to it, making it. Okay, okay, a little bit more brighter. Like that, I think. Maybe just too much over, overdue. So I'm gonna even make it just, I'd rather to keep it a little bit lighter instead of making it brighter. Okay, this is good. Just lighter is more important. Okay, let's take a look at the tree at the front over here. I think this is pretty good. I just want a little bit, you just have to wait let it dry, right? You don't want to just step in too early and do something else while it let it dry. Okay, get a little bit red. Now, over here, I'm gonna have this, a little bit darker, like that, that's good. That's good. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color over here too. And I have that, a little bit darker color coming down. And maybe on this side, a little bit darker color over here. And here you go, a little bit darker color over here. We maybe also have another uh, small tree coming out like that, if you want to. And, and here you go. And this is good. And here you go, have some, some tree, some branches coming out 
like that. And it's just good to keep the layering. You don't want to have this too dark, right? This is very important. So here I'm going to have that little bit texture over here. So I don't want to just keep that like a too, just over soft. Okay, this is good. A little bit over here, you can keep that as just killing some of the length space. Okay, now think about that one more time. Is that the road is the right color, the right value? I think that it could be just a little bit darker. But first, I make sure that the top over here lighter, a little glowing. Okay, that will be the last thing we're gonna do. I promise. Okay, this is gonna be making this a little bit glowing, the top over here. Don't make it too sharp. Okay, here you go. Like that, very really good. So it instantly, you seeing this is like a glowing already, right? At the light, we want the feeling of the light glowing. Okay, that's good. This is good. Make that a little bit softer. This is good. And then I'm going to just take a little bit red shade blue color. I'm going to just put it right over here. Just a little bit darker at the front. Like that. And then make this painting more interesting. Okay. Alright, so I hope you're going to have fun following this lesson and we're going to stop this and then I'm going to turn to the member to see how you've been doing. Again, in the video description, please take a look at our upcoming uh, Watercolor Fundamental class. This is how we are going to offering the future classes from now. So look at them if you like it and push register. Okay, it's coming up very soon. And then I'm going to stop.